Yo, what is up, guys? Today, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how to get that dope cinematic intro text effect. You could use these for music videos, clothing brand shoots, and potential product drops, depending on what you're selling. Just as long as you get creative with the use of it, you can probably use it. Simply because it's such a neutral and sort of just clean sort of effect. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started inside of Premiere Pro. So this is sort of what we're recreating. It's sort of just like a clean sort of blurry, honestly, not even blurry, just like, Kind of just looks natural in this scene right here. I guess retro sort of vibe would be good for it. So let's go ahead and recreate this. Okay, so the first way how we're gonna go about doing this is simply just by using the text tool right here, tapping once on screen and then typing in your title. So for this music video, it's called Requiem. Honestly, I have no clue what this word means. So let's go ahead and just make the uh, essential graphics. Go here, select the text, double click this and just change it to the font that you want. And for this one, we're honestly just gonna go with Akira. Um, it's just a super clean cinematic font. Center align text and center horizontally, center vertically. And I'll go ahead, throw it directly in the middle. Now, when you're doing footage that's sort of like retro, um, pure whites kind of just aren't really a thing. Um, the highlights are a little bit blown out. So I like to just go ahead and drag the white value to kind of just a, a little bit of a darker sort of white to sort of match the whites in the actual scene. And that actually looks pretty good. So that's how we're gonna go ahead and do it. And then the first effect to actually start getting this sort of look in the way we want it to is we wanna to go to Gaussian Blur. And this does like pretty much the heavy lifting of the effect. So you drag and drop it onto your text effect, onto your text layer, sorry. And then you go ahead, Gaussian Blur, blurriness. And we're kind of just looking to soften out the edges of the text but not too, too much, almost like in the middle of like this and like that, we kind of want the middle of it. So let's say it's a little bit too much, a little bit like that. There we go. So as you can see, the edges are a little bit softer. So now next step is adding some noise. And this is honestly super easy to do, just drag and drop. It's honestly a two step process to get the effect. And then once you add the noise, I'm gonna uncheck this color noise because when you throw in tons of noise, you can see it kind of just has like that ugly color to it. And we're not really wanting that. We just kind of want sort of the texture of it, but that's pretty intense. So let's drag it down. So I typically like it to where it's like pretty much barely visible to the eye. Um, let's go ahead full screen real quick. Sweet, I actually like that a lot. So that actually looks freaking dope. Um, so yeah, so that is essentially how to do it inside of Premiere Pro natively. And then I'll go ahead and show you how to do it the second sort of style, which is this way. So what you're gonna wanna go ahead and do is you're gonna wanna go ahead and open Photoshop, new file. And because my video is a 1920 by 1080, it's not a 4K video, we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make the background black just so that way I can see what the text is actually looking like on a black background. Um, so again, we're gonna go ahead and just change the color to sort of a muted sort of white. And then we're gonna go ahead, tap it. And then again, title rec. Honestly, I'll just do this it's title. And then we'll go ahead and just blow this up. I'm gonna change the text because something that looks really good is using actual like sort of vintage sort of style text. I think I actually use Times New Roman, believe it or not. It's some sort of like script or serif font looks actually pretty good. Let's do, let's do this. Roman regular, that looks pretty good. Um, and then let's go ahead and just control T and then hold shift and then drag it up to stretch it. And that's gonna add like a really dope sort of dramatic look. And then we're gonna go ahead and add the artist names below and the producer. So it's super easy to do. And then we'll go ahead, select it all, bring it down to just whatever kind of fits the vibe. And for me, that kind of fits the vibe. And then let's go ahead and just add the producer. So control J, duplicate it and then just do producer. And then we'll go ahead, just drag this over, keeping it straight. Just line it up where it looks about good. And I think that looks freaking dope. I'm gonna uncheck the background layer. I'm gonna export it as a PNG. So quick export as PNG, um, title. I'm just gonna throw this inside of my desktop, super easy, save it. And then let's go ahead and open up Premiere, import, control I, the title PNG that you just made, and drag and drop it onto your timeline. Now, what this is gonna do is it's gonna look something like this. And then again, following the same steps that we followed before, do the same thing onto this PNG. Now I actually made a cinematic title blur slash noise preset right here from earlier. And this is what it looks like. Looks super clean. 
and you can just go ahead play around with the font with the color of the font anyways guys i hope you guys learned a little bit of something and a little bit of sauce today and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out